It may not look like much, but for more than 2,000 stray dogs and cats, it's the only place they can call home. It's a diverse crowd here. There are mutts and purebreds, puppies and dogs in their senior years, and caretaker Larissa Velgu sees to it that not one of them goes hungry. Every month, people bring us 50 animals. Ten of them are taken home by loving people. We need a ton of dry food and 300 kilograms of meat for soup per day. It takes about 15,000 U.S. dollars a month to keep their stomachs full. Medical treatment is another expense. Most of the funding comes from donations. This is Totoshka sitting here. He's less than one year old. His spine is broken because he was hit by a car. Now he'll be provided with a special wheelchair. In Ukraine, only a handful of animal shelters exist, and all of them are private. But now, Ukrainian authorities are stepping in to provide some assistance to the homeless animals of Kiev. By the end of next year, Ukraine will have its first partially publicly funded animal protection center. First of all, it's not just an ordinary veterinary clinic. It's a shelter with space for the animals to walk around. A complex of several buildings, the vet center will be located on two and a half hectares of land. It will be able to provide care for up to 150 cats and 700 dogs. It is very important that the animals brought to the center will be quarantined. Sick animals will be put into so-called isolation rooms. We will separate healthy animals from the sick. It will be very cool. This is something that is not available nowadays. It is also planned to equip the center with a laboratory and modern medical equipment. For example, an MRI for the animals. The center won't be for stray animals alone. People will also be able to bring their pets for treatment, the fees for which will help fund the center. Animal rights activists spoke at the presentation of the center. Alina calls herself a guardian of homeless animals. She has helped with more than 2,000 cats to find a new home. Six of them she's taken in herself. She asks people not to abandon or kill animals, but to find shelters or caretakers for them. There are so many people on Facebook engaged in the same issue as I am. We're called volunteers and caretakers. There's always a way out. If there's no possibility to take care of a cat, it's possible to find a person who will do it for free. The main message of animal rights activists is to help people understand their responsibility to their pets. And the animal shelter will always offer a true friend to pet owners and animals who have not yet found a home.